before Denver lets you go, did you have incidents with in the coaches? What, what, what happened with the incidents with any coaches there? No, I didn't talk to no. coaches in Denver. And were, uh, at practice in preseason, did you go there drunk? Oh, so what, 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 what the legendary story they're talking about yeah, is the, the rolling right. from the club. <laughs> okay. So I would just basically blend the club to the field. You know what I'm saying? So you literally, like, we, we have practice 7 in the morning. Like, I'll be coming out to the club and be hanging out till 5, 36 in the morning. And I just literally rolled a practice. Rolled practice. So yeah. they figured that you were... Yeah, drunk at practice. At practice. Yeah, but, so but, you didn't have uh, a vodka in your... Uh, no, so... Like, so that was I, a story, like, you, we heard, yeah. like, this guy had vodka and... Or forty ounce in the car and vodka, <laughs> no, and vodka no, in his no, water no. bottles. No, so what I, I mean when I left, like you just had a barrage of, uh, of just stories about you know how destructive I was and how irresponsible I was, and then people just kind of ran with that. But you know I'm I'm not here to shy away and say from like yo bro I came to practice and we can say a handful of times just straight from the club. You know what I'm saying that yeah. just was me like you know just going to the club having fun. Stand out as long as possible, and then literally just roll Come into in there the smell like, like the club. Roll into the to the practice facility. When they released you, when Denver Broncos released you, did you think that you would um, have some type of, you know, team calling you? Any any? No, you had some type I, of phone knew, call. Like, some type. No, so because the way I left, like I was so, um, like my life was falling apart in front of my face. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. and, and if anybody who's ever life has gotten, kind of gotten out of hand. I just knew like, you know, all the moves I was making, decisions I was making, uh, it just was really falling apart. And uh, I just knew for, for internally that, you know, football was over at that time. And then you had a uh, million dollar in debt for legal fees for the fight with the NFL. Did you have to pay for any of those costs that, you know, any of those fees, especially having the legal fees? No, I didn't, fees? Have, I didn't have to pay anything. You didn't have to pay anything, no. so. Nothing at all. So, I, I never, no, I never, and the NFL never uh, went to you to pay for any of their no. fees or anything like that. Mm -mm. Now you, after they release you, mm -hmm. you go back to Ohio. Yep. And this is when everything starts to really go down. Yeah, now. Just, we we going downhill now. We going further down. We're going here. further down <laughs> right now. You had a robbery. Yes. You, you had a uh, t t take us to that robbery. Yeah. So uh, in a nutshell, uh, basically. Um, I, I thought it was a great idea to, to rob and hustle after I was basically kicked out of football. Right. So I'm hustling. At this point, little, you're broke. I'm broke. Right. Unless I had probably, I don't know, 15, 20 grand, nothing. But, you know, we got 15, 20 grand. You're paying bills. you do what you're doing. You ain't really got no money. So you're trying to invest money into buying work. And, you know, sometimes, like, if people don't understand. Sometimes buying work, do, but buying more drugs. Dope. Yeah, right. buying dope. drugs. You right. know what I'm saying? So sometimes you may have money the drip the dope man got the dope but sometimes he don't have it you know what i'm saying mm. so and then you spend the money uh trying to act like you're not broke because you came from the nfl so your spending habits are a little crazy you're messing with dope man sometimes you got it sometimes you don't sometimes you buy the weed sometimes moving slow and then you just jump back and say man i could just start robbing folks who do got it so i'm just like like engulfed all the way into crime so i go from the nfl to be in California for a few days. So I'm like, man, I'm just back out here, you know, doing what I'm supposed to be doing. So I'm going to work out in the morning because I think like I can recapture and save my football career. But mm -hmm. then at night, you know, when you don't have any money coming in, you're just trying to mix, move, hustle, and do everything else. And so what ended up happening was um, New Year's Eve, uh, I ended up basically committing a robbery in downtown Columbus, right? So I go uh, and I'm committing the robbery. And as I'm coming back down from the... Um, uh, from committing the crime, I end up basically seeing uh, uh, the woman who had basically owned the uh, the club, and I tell her that I robbed the people in the back. And you when, did this with a gun? Yeah, robbery with yeah. a gun. So when I told her I robbed the people in the back, she like, "Yo, that's my uh, that's my sister," and so just yeah, I call, I, I call it divine intervention with them. You know what I'm saying? Because what's the likelihood? So when I was going down there, I thought somebody else was going to be down there. Right. So I, my man was in the club. He's telling me there was somebody else that was in that space. When I go down to go commit the crime, I'm thinking I'm seeing somebody else. Right. When I get back there, these two totally different people. I just robbed them just on GP. Just and this is inside the club or, or outside? Outside the club. Yes. It's how much money did you get? Did I you get, get any nothing. money? No. So now I took the cell phone because I didn't want them to call the police. Right. So when I robbed them, I'm, I'm like, "What y'all got?" They didn't have nothing. So right. I just took the cell phone, like, "Yo." I don't want y'all calling the police after this basically happened. I'm basically getting out. But no ski mask, Reese? No, no. Just I mean, just show you how delusional I was. Wow. Like, just, like, were, you, uh, were you high when you when you? Yeah, I've been it? drinking. Yeah, drinking. you know. But but even aside from the drinking, in my mind, it's made a good idea. So aside from everything else, 
like even if I hadn't been drinking, I still thought this was a good idea. You right. know what I'm saying? So it wasn't yeah. like I got drunk and thought I was just it, I was in that much right. silliness that I thought that this was a good idea to go rob these people. Yeah. So and then you did you give the phone to their, their sister? No, so I didn't even give it to her sister. I came out and um and, and really I grabbed her and I said, Yo, I robbed those people back there and she kind of like snatched away from me, like holding her, and then she just was like, yo. And she ran back down the, uh, the alleyway, but even when they even when they went to go um, back down the alleyway and to go grab the people, I didn't think that she was gonna tell. You know, I, I really didn't think so because, you know, we all was in the same criminal element, and I just didn't think that she would basically yeah. pursue it, yeah. Right, and she did. Yeah. 